For the BEAMS program that started about 10 years ago, we're getting close to 200 alums that have focused on this kind of coursework, looking at mapping seafloor systems, interpreting all that data that's important for marine services, for energy sectors, and a lot of other applications. And those students are incredibly successful. I started BEAMS, which is a seafloor mapping program using multi-beam sonar, which is where the name comes from. But I started it because I really wanted to work with students out on ships. I love being at sea, I love the teaching experience. And so we began this program where we could go collect data using multi-beam sonar out at sea. And then we had a partnership with the software company Keras to use the data and render these incredible images like the one you see behind me. And so I began teaching the software and it just kept growing. We got more and more students and we had the ability to go out to sea in the early days. And it just flourished into this wonderful program that I have enjoyed so much working with the students over the years. We're basically in a small family kind of a system with these few hundred alumni and all the students that are coming up through the program. I really want them to be scientists first, and that alone, being a scientist coming out of this program, is what has made them so incredibly marketable, because they don't just know software, they know how to interpret the data, and they can speak the speak, and they know what they're talking about, too, when they leave here. The BEAMS program is I think one of a kind, and it's built on a lot of innovative ideas to bring that research activity to the classroom to focus exclusively on undergraduate students to provide them the skill set where they can go immediately into the field for jobs and or graduate school, and we've got an incredible number of success stories of alumni who have done that. When the students graduate from here, more than half who have gone through the program elect to go into this field called hydrography, which is seafloor mapping. 100% of the students who have applied for jobs have gotten jobs. So we are known all over the world, literally. We have more than 100 alumni out there doing incredible work. Matt Christie uh, graduated in 2013. He went to work right away. He ended up working within several different companies in his brief career. He really had an incredible toolbox of information and skills, and he became very well known within the industry. We're incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to have a wonderful student like Matt. Right before he died, he was so excited to come back to the College of Charleston area and to work with our students and share his experiences. Matt was like many of our students, so much fun, so enthusiastic, and uh, it has been absolutely wonderful working with Dan and Claire Christie to remember Matt in this way. We need funds for the students to be able to take advantage of the incredible opportunities that are possible. And those opportunities like traveling to conferences, going to ships so they get some shipboard experience. We hope to raise enough so that our students can again have their own shipboard experience. And just traveling to have opportunities outside of the classroom. I think they're very appreciative of what Professor Sauter and, and the other members of the faculty here were able to do for their son when he was a student here and they want to help ensure the future of, of future students getting that kind of support. We're incredibly grateful that Dan and Claire have worked with us in this way um, to help support current and future students. And I'm thrilled about this fund in Matt's name. This gift and his legacy will live on and will be able to help so many students in the future. I am mostly proud to have been his mentor and he will always be remembered 